Our next guest was a school teacher who dreamt of having a career in the food industry when she became a contestant on MasterChef Australia. Now, that dream is her reality. She's a host, a judge, writer, and food literacy advocate with vegetables at the heart of everything she preaches. Yeah, and she's here today with the recipes from her stunning cookbook, In Praise of Veg. Please join me in welcoming Alice Zalowski to the show. Yeah. Good to see you. Thank you. Love the glasses. Thank you very Amazing. much. I'm so Thank excited you. to have you here. I'm excited to be here. And we're always thrilled when we get to eat, but we're extra excited when the food prep involves whacking something, and yes. that's what you're gonna have us do. Yes. Guide us through making your sesame cucumber whack salad. Oh, yeah, well, I'm gonna get you whacking. So okay. if you can turn the cucumber, this is a telegraph cucumber, okay. the first thing you're gonna do actually is hold it up mm -hmm. and right. you're gonna scoop the seeds. So oh, use that little okay, spoon. spoon there okay. and scoop the seeds out. I wanna say if you've got kids at home, you can do this with your kids. Oh, this is, oh. Get them to scoop, scoop, go. scoop, scoop, scoop. There's a little bit of spray Wonderful. back, but we And meanwhile, I've already got some pre-scoop action and then you're gonna whack, 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 oh, whack, whack. Wow. And you want it to get to this point here. Okay. So this level of whacking. Let out all that anxiety. Oh, there we go. That's it. Let all the anxiety. And oh, it's... yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it works. It works really well. Okay. And then we're going to put these seeds. Yes, you're going to put the seeds into the mortar and pestle. Okay. okay. Yes. And uh, which is the, this one here. Perfect. Yeah. And meanwhile, I'm just going to chop it up into sort of you know, little chunks of cucumber. They didn't okay. give us a knife. You didn't give us no, a knife. No, they no, don't no, trust no, us with you. the sharp no, instruments. No, no, no. And, okay. it, and, and it, this is why I like that you can, you know, I like to say kids can do anything in the kitchen mm -hmm. unless it's hot or sharp. Smart. Smart. Okay. In, like in which case, nope, they need grown-up eyeballs. And in this case, I'm the grown-up for some yes, reason. You yes, you are the grown-up <laughs> between the two of us. Yes. So uh, let's pop a little bit of cucumber into your bowl, please. Okay, love it. There we okay. go. And, and we'll... in the bowl already is some spring onion Beautiful. and some Beautiful, thank herbs. you. Oh, and you can great. do this with smaller cucumbers too, which don't need to be de-seeded. But, okay. you know, this is we want to show the full experience. Yes. yes. Now that we've got these, let's muddle together okay. the cucumber seeds. You know, people often wonder, do I throw out the seeds? Keep the seeds. Out. The seeds are important, right? Keep the seeds, exactly okay. right. And then into here goes our dressing. In the Ooh. dressing, oh. mirin, soy sauce, garlic, uh, sh a little bit of sugar. Which Put I all of it, right? All okay, of good. It. Okay, I just dumped Pop it all in. All okay. in there. Muddle, 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 muddle. Muddling. And because cucumbers are naturally sweet, just pinch in a little bit of extra extra sugar into all of your veg. Love Ooh, that's it. a Makes great it taste idea. Really okay. Right. okay. Hot yes. tip. Hot tip. Then in that goes into your bowl. Okay. okay. And you've already well, got spring onion, mint and coriander in your bowl. All Give right. it a little toss, toss, toss. Oh, yeah. Toss, toss that toss salad. It. Toss that salad. A little bit of fried. Keep it clean, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Fried. What are these fried shallots? They are. They're okay. deep fried shallots. Okay. Shallots. So in that goes, which is oh, just these here. Oh, come here. I'm looking for the shallots. All right. So in that goes, in that all goes. of them. And it's up to you. Do you like it spicy? Yes. yes. Okay. So in goes the chili. Mm. Nice. And these are some pretty Sorry. wild chilies. Yeah. But Andrea, you're welcome good. to eat them like an apple. I like the heat. Yes. Good. Okay. okay. So you can go heavier there, and then toss, toss, toss again. Okay. And a little bit of sesame seed and black sesame seed there too. That looks now, do so we put pretty. all of it in, or just oh, yeah, a pinch? As much as you want. Just a pinch. Normally you'd okay, garnish with those seeds. So you can see there Isn't when it's beautiful? done. beautiful? It's gorgeous. It smells so good. Yeah, it does smell really good. All right, so now this is a great side salad. If we want to make it a main, what should we add to it? Easy. You could add a noodle, like a ramen. Mm. Ah. Yeah, yeah, or a soba noodle. And then you could bulk it out with protein as well. If it's animal protein, mm. like smoked fish or smoked chicken. Or if you mm. want to go the full cold tofu, mm -hmm. you could go uh, like a, a deep fried, you know, tofu. Or you could just go like a silken tofu through it. To you. Oh, that this sounds really I feel like I'm a better Oh, you're already human. You, just you're already you. digging yeah, in. Yeah, you had the question. <laughs> I already <laughs> dug in. Just as, I'm, I'm so busy listening. It's, I'm you're like, gonna love have... it. Have a little taste. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that is nice. Yeah. That is lovely. Thank you. That is really good. Oh my gosh. And you've probably got all the ingredients too. Exactly. You know, it's just a couple of extra things in the pantry and you will use them again. That is delicious. Thank okay. You. I shouldn't have taken that last bite. Now my mouth is full. But all right. <laughs> Now you live in Australia. I do. But you're from Georgia, not the state, not right? Not the yeah, not the state, but the country. Mm -hmm. So talk to us about how Georgia, your background, yeah. in influences your cuisine. Yeah, well, if you don't know where Georgia is, it's kind of between Russia, Asia, and the Middle East. And so all of those cultures wow. are mm -hmm. melded together. It's also on the spice trail. So mm -hmm. the sort of spices that you'd find in a curry, mm -hmm. you're gonna find in Georgian cuisine. Okay. okay. Yes. So if you've got curry powder in your pantry, you can use that curry powder in your Georgian mix and this mix is, you know, if I had to think three ingredients, Georgia, mm -hmm. yeah. coriander, walnuts, and garlic. Okay. Wow, okay. Sounds and, delicious. Wa and walnuts are where we're going next, right? Because these are walnut 
eggplant rolls. I, uh, and you're gonna show us how to roll them up. I am. This is fascinating. Totally. So we put aside our salad and all of our Set wax. Set your salad to, aside, to bring cucumber. up your prep, your mise en place. Ooh, it loves your it. Your eggplant rolls. Okay. And now what we've done is we've baked these eggplants, really like over bake your eggplant. Okay. If, people, if people in your household don't like eggplant, it's probably because it hasn't been cooked long enough and that's why they become, it becomes a little bit sort of astringent. Okay, so how mouth. long do you cook it for? Uh, at least 40 to 50 minutes, okay. you know, so really kind of give it some love okay. until it's really quite mm -hmm. slippery and slimy mm -hmm. and then you're going to grab that this is, piece. this is the walnut paste? This is walnut paste. Cool. I've never had this before. Oh, you're going to love that, okay. Andrea. So All a right. little bit, like a little teaspoon, a little bit more than a teaspoon onto okay. there. Okay. And then you're going to roll it up. All right. Oh, is that this too is much? Easy. Is this enough? Easy. Okay. A little let's, bit more. A little bit more. Right. Let's get the walnut in there. Get the walnut in there. Yeah, this looks okay. so pretty. And then roll, roll, roll. And just make sure that the seam is underneath when you're finished. Okay. And Tuck it if nicely. you think about it, there's a lot of meaty flavour in there. Yeah. yeah. Now, there's the eggplant. So if you've got vegan, vegetarian friends just, coming mm -hmm. around, Perfect. dip it in the sauce. Okay. This is tahini, pomegranate molasses. If you're an Ottolenghi fan, then you've probably got mm -hmm. pomegranate molasses. I was going to say cheers, but you already dug in, Jess. Yes, dig okay. in. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is good. Look that at is you, so good. <laughs> Master mm. Chef. Ah. Holy smokes. I am just conveying what I was given, what I was gifted by my husband. That tastes absolutely, absolutely delicious. Thank okay, you. so so far you're two for two, that's great. Next we're gonna talk about the coconut tapioca pudding. Sure are. Let's talk about it, because I'm ready to dig in. And here's yes. some I prepared earlier. You don't have to do any work, just eat. Okay. Now, <laughs> okay. grab that we like one. That. We like that. Andrea, one. grab one of these. Okay. And this is the coconut I'll tapioca grab one for you. pudding. Oh, no, you, you, oh, you this is that what... one as the hero. Oh, okay. There you go, the hero on its little mini I was trying to be polite, stirred. but I'm like, okay, we're going to dig in. You. I'm eating, Andrea. You, you can eat. Tell us about it. Dig okay. right deep, because inside uh, there is the lemongrass curd. And that's at the very bottom, so we want to go right down to the bottom and get all the good stuff. Bottom. And if you don't have lemongrass, you can use lime. Well, yeah, right, God, is that three for three? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, three for three. It's good, it's good. And mangoes, you know, Ontario mangoes, like whatever is going on right now in Ontario The produce. bottom, honey, get ah. to it. Oh my God, that's good. <laughs> It Thank tastes delicious. You. That Thank tastes you. so good. It's because it's just nature. You know, mm. I think one thing where people get stuck with vegetables, with fruits, with produce, is that they think they have to do heaps of stuff to it. Mm. But 90, let's say 80 to 90% of the work is in the shop. Yes! Mm -hmm. if that's you're, such a good point. That's it, mm -hmm. because if you buy the right produce in season, you know how to store how it. You're 90% there. You're 90% there. Already, Alice, thank you so much for sharing <laughs> these delicious dishes. Thank you. Yes. And that to find so these good. vegetable forward recipes, head to our social media this after the show. And in Praise of Veg is available now. And good news for mm. our studio audience. <laughs> You're going home. Yeah. Yeah. Hey there, and thanks for sticking around. Wasn't that just fantastic? You know where you can get some more all around great content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with all the laughs and thought provoking chats you could ask for. So do yourself a favor, like and subscribe now.